Hello there and hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Uh, I did a last review video of my previous Iron Man creation and you guys gave a nice response to it. Hence I thought I should create a video review for this one as well. As this one took a year long for me to complete and I think so it deserves some more videos. So basically what I'm gonna cover in this video is that is mainly first I will suit him down and also I will show his articulation points and i also show some his limitations his drawbacks and also show some plus points of him so coming to the articulation first coming to leg one i have given two mainly two joints to the legs uh, they, they stretch more but due to the suit up there are some limitations in the articulation as well but still there is a little you can do the legs sideways for both sides and also over here as well and then the main knee joint it's possible like this it goes more but again because of the suit there is a limitation in the knee joint as well uh, for the whole suit because of the articulation uh, there came out came out some limitations but i had expected that when i was for the main thigh joint or the leg joint i could say what i have to do over here is i have made this arrangement i have to bend this forward I had to put these joints over here because first I decided to put the joints over here but that was increasing that was adding more bulk to this side so I thought that I should give these joints to leg and also when we close this it helped to help him stand properly as well I have given the waist joints and but again there is a limitation over here as well but it does move little coming to the waist joints they can move First of all, normal small wrist joints over here, then the elbow joint, then main arm or shoulder joint we can say, not the shoulder joint actually, just shoulder rotation, no arm rotation, sorry, I'm not much expert in explaining the joints though. And again for here, for the shoulder joint to work, they can move sideways, and do like this, but again for this to work, I have to clip this up over here and then I can extend the arm like that and now coming to the back of the figure I have given him the traditional flaps first I cancelled out the flap thing because I was not sure if I could make that but I thought that when if you're making an iron man the flaps are very necessary to the head joint it can move up it can move sideways and also like this as well and also mainly for the face part uh, i can i have made like you can remove this face plate as well mm, it does not wait a minute i'll just bend him yeah so it does not stick over here because i haven't made that magnet arrangement because i was not able too much but yeah you can keep it like that and also this arrangement is possible this just slide the way down We cannot do much poses with this one due to the weight and the suit up arrangement which does you know uh, does mess up with the joints a little bit but yes we can do some normal standing position uh, an action position and also a few more two or three action position so it does stand without any support but i sometimes fear because many times if you're making them stand without any support and if there is some sort of disturbance to the table or something similar to that he might fall and that might break some of the part because this parts you know i'll just remove this one because these these are the parts you know they are they are very delicate because they are thin uh, the material which is the epoxy clay is not that much delicate first of all but since since these are thin they break a lot in my previous video uh, that was the suit up video while posing him he did fall and i have shown it in the end video scene or you can say the post credit scene so in that this plate was broken but then again i fixed it 
proper the joints uh, the joints that i make are not yet completely stiff uh, they tend to get loose after some time and hence that's also the main reason that i am not yet sharing the joints technique with everyone not sharing the tutorial on the joints right now why because you know it's not perfect so what is the point in sharing something which is not perfect and these are some extra hands that i have made for him i can show so here he is again in the standing position i don't know why i put him in that pose <laughs> sometimes these small portions they keep on falling because of the magnets they tend to be loose and uh, other thing is that the magnets are not from both sides. In here there are metal pieces and in here there is a magnet. And one more limitation is that this one, he is little bulky when it comes to Iron Man, so, sort of, a little, not much more. But again, you are suiting up and the Tony Stark I have created is very thin and if I try to make him more thin, then that will again not look much good, okay? What's the plus point? The bare main main thing is that I was able to make an Iron Man suit up. I mean, in my first previous three figures, I did that, but then after I left it because I thought in clay that might not be possible, but now it is. We'll surely do a suit down to understand. For those who haven't seen my super video, please do check it out. And the other plus point is was is that despite of being a suit up, I can add more functions like the flap functions and I, I also was able to do a whole face suit up function which again I am much much happy about it if you guys are making action figures or if you guys are making figures with articulation you know how sometimes how difficult it is to make your figures stand which is one of the most important functions right you must be able to stand so so I'm completely happy about this as well. Okay, now that's enough with the suit. Now it's time to do the suit up. Sorry, it's time to do the suit down. Sorry. So first off, what I'll do is just remove the pieces that keep on falling many times. Now I am doing this first because I don't want to damage the head first. That's the reason. I just remove the face plate first. Then I'll remove the upper plate like that easy then the side plates and then the down one it's quite impossible you know to keep the sculpted hairs and then add the face plate to it so that will just increase the bulk so I had to make this arrangement possible and for safety reasons I'll completely remove off the head and again over here I just have to slide this down and then I'll just insert this I don't have a procedure of removing which first or anything like that but mainly the parts which are more loose or, or which have the problem of falling down easily I remove them first mainly I try to remove the body portion or the torso parts more first because these are the one of the delicate parts and you know if i get go to create them again that's gonna be more tedious for me because they have a lot of detail work on it thing is that inside they have magnets and over here i have inside i have added some metal parts I'll explain this suit up technique in a whole video. I just also remove, we can remove this as well. I'll just keep it. I'll explain the suit up technique. It's not possible for me to explain the whole tutorial on making this whole suit because that will take again days for me to make. Sorry, days, boy. I'm sorry, it will take again months for me to make, and which is not possible. To invest that much time hence I'll show the technique of suit up that how how I created a suit so that like how to create a suit on any action figure you have that I'll surely share and that's a promise for sure
you can watch the full making of video of this Tony Stark body I have made it on it's on my youtube channel now if you guys want to know how to emboss your name or how to brand your artworks I have made a video on it you can surely check it out the video is in Hindi but I have any subtitles so that anyone who is interested can surely check it out and that's his suit again and that's the head part of the suit over there that's the head part of the suit over there I have kept them separately because the head parts are more delicate and this is these are the complete suit of accessories over here and he is over here standing again I'll show some articulation points over here uh, this is the same thing because they are the same joints over here but the hand thing they can go more than before previously they used to go only this much now they can go more and the leg joints they can go till back till here you can see this and the waist joint or the torso joint he can move as much as he wants forward backward as well now I have made, added cloth over here. This is the first time again that I have added cloth on any of my artwork. I usually don't do that. But since there was a suit up involved over here, I had to do that because while removing or adding the suit, there can be scratches on the sculpture, which will look bad if that keeps on happening again and again. At some point, the head sculpt gets damaged if I keep on doing the head swapping. But since I have made it, I do recolor it and so that is completely fine. But I again try to avoid it, to avoid excess work. Now you can see over here, you can see there are some scratches that come up because these are painted one and why these scratches come up because I just keep on adding and removing keep on adding and removing. See? Also I will also show off my 2020 head sculpt, this one was I created in 2020 there's a whole video on this as well I have shown in the video how I created this one and this one is the 2021 head sculpt I like this one better because this one my techniques weren't that evolved and now I, I have <laughs> a good evolved techniques right now so now back to my suit in this and I'll just keep it and these are my previous Iron Man suit and why, why I was happy before because none of them can stand none of them can stand by their own and only he can stand by his own out of these one two and three are completely suit up I mean they are suited up inside them is also Tony Starks and <laughs> this one is not a suit up but for him another Tony Stark has been made so I guess that's enough for today as I did not want it to make this video too long so hence I had to rush this up but yeah, it got too long, I guess. But it's completely fine. So thanks a lot for watching this video. And if you have watched this complete video, then thanks again. That helps me a lot. And if you want to watch his more videos, then I have already uploaded two of them. Then you can check them out. And more are coming soon. Also, if you guys are interested in tutorials, then there is a whole tutorial playlist on my channel. You can check it out. And I also keep uploading more as well. Till then, see you next time with a new creation.